Hi, this is Gary Zovic. I'm an extension educator in York, Nebraska. Uh, today I want to visit a little bit about using an antmometer or an ET gauge. Antmometer is basically the, uh, a tool similar to a rain gauge, except what, we, what it does is the water evaporates out the uh, ceramic top and it mimics crop water use. What we need when using an admometer is we need to know the stage of growth uh, for your crop. We need to know how much the ET gauge dropped uh, at the, uh, uh, a given period, like one day or one week. Uh, and with that, we can then calculate uh, the water use that your uh, crop may use. When the ET gauges come from the uh, manufacturer, they come wrapped in uh, bubble wrap. And what we then do is we unwrap it. What comes along with it is a rain gauge and a manual for operating procedures. When we take it apart, uh, mount the bracket on a post, then we fill the plastic tube with distilled water. We then fill the ceramic top with water and we prime it uh, by uh, placing water in the little tube so that it's filled and we insert the stopper so that water comes out the bottom of that tube. So that we're then primed, we can then place the ceramic top with the green uh, alfalfa number 54 cover onto the uh, PVC pipe. The final thing we place on the top of this unit are two little wires which are bird spikes to keep the birds from setting or landing on the ET gauge. And then along the side, we've got a little sight tube that we can then adjust the water level so that uh, when we're first starting to use it, it's at zero. Once we have your, the ET gauge uh, put together, we then go and look for a location to place it. You wanna put it in an area that's representative of your fields, uh, uh, alfalfa field, a soybean field, a fence line, some place like that works well. Uh, if it needs to be uh, in, a, or in or very near a cornfield, you can buy uh, or have it placed on a post that's higher than the tasseling uh, corn. We don't want to place it under the pivot because of the rainfall or the irrigation that occurs there. So a uh, dry land corner would be ideal, but typically I try and put them in fence lines or places like that. The ET gauge is representative of an area uh, two to three or four miles either side of it. So it's taking into account the humidity and the temperature for an area, not just that field. Uh, when we do the calculations, we take the change in ET gauge reading from one week to the past week, then we multiply it by the appropriate crop coefficient. With that, we can estimate your weekly crop water use.